When making holiday cards, quick and easy card sketches make quick work of the daunting task. So today, I'm going to show you a clean and simple card that's quick and easy to mass produce and will surely warm the heart of any recipient. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this card. First, you're going to need some of our cardstock, and I'm using some of the Gina K Designs, Heavy Base Weight Ivory cardstock, and some of the Wine With Everything cardstock. Then, you're going to need some brads, and I'm using our copper brads, and then I have the Tim Holtz Craft Pick, and a little piece of a mouse pad that I like to use underneath when I'm poking the holes in my pieces of cardstock. I have two of the stamps from the new Stamp TV kit, Wishing You Joy. Here I have the little stockings, and then I have the greeting, the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. I also have a Cuddlebug folder, and this is the Swiss Dot folder. I'm going to be stamping my image and greeting using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad, and then I have an assortment of markers. I have a few Copics, I have a few Bics, and a little bit of adhesive. And of course, since I'm going to be doing some cutting, I've got some Cutter B scissors. So let's start off by stamping the little stockings, and I'm going to do that on this piece of heavy base weight ivory using some of the black memento ink. Make sure they're inked up well and stamp them. Now while I have my ink pad out, I've cut a strip of cardstock here that's five inches long and then is one inch wide. And this is going to be my greeting. So I'm going to stamp that right now, right in the center. There, like that. My next step is to color in the stockings. And like I said, I have an assortment of markers here. I'm gonna start off by coloring some of the parts of it, like this little heart here. I'm going to use a Bic marker. I have this very fine point marker and that will really get into that detail. And these little ribbon pieces that go around the outside of the stocking. Then I'm going to use some of Y26, which is mustard, and I'm going to color in the heels of both stockings and the toes, like that. And I'm going to use some of this YG91, which is putty, and I'm going to color this entire stocking using the putty. There we go. And I'm going to use some of the YG26 again to color in the star because I want that star to be golden like the other parts there. I'm going to add a little bit of texture into this stocking using a Copic Colorless Blender Pen. Just going to make a few little dots here. I'm going to do it on the toes too. And then I'm going to go back over those again because I really want to brighten them up. Like that. And I'm going to add a little bit of W3, which is warm gray number three, around the top here. And then using the colorless blender pen, I'm just going to work that color all around the inside there. And I'm going to finish coloring up this stocking and then I'm going to cut them out. 
Here you can see I have my two little stockings all colored in and texturized and then I just trimmed them out with my Cutter B scissors. And if you're wondering what this brown color is, that one was a Bic marker that I used. It's called uh, Tiki Hut Tan. So now these are ready to be attached to a card. To create a card base, I'm using a piece of the Gina K Designs Heavy Base Weight Ivory Cardstock, and I'm going to score this on my score buddy. Uh, you could use your score pal too. I'm going to score it at four and a quarter inches. This particular piece is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And then I'm going to fold that, and to make sure that I don't get any cracking, I'm going to use the edge, the flat edge of the scoring tool and just flatten that down real nice and crisp. And you can see there, there's no cracking at all. It's a beautiful, beautiful fold. My next step is to take a piece of cardstock and give it a little bit of texture using the cuddle bump. So I'm using my A and B plate here, and then I have a piece of cardstock cut three and a quarter inches by five inches. I'm going to slide that right into this Swiss dot cuddlebug folder, line it up here, and laying a B plate on top, I'm going to emboss it. And here I have my textured ivory cardstock. Isn't that pretty? What I've done here is I've taken that piece of Swiss dot cuddlebugged paper cardstock and I've attached it to some of our wine with everything cardstock to make a nice little frame. That one measures three and seven eighths inches by five and an eighth. And I'm going to take that little strip that I stamped and attach it to another piece of cardstock. For all the measurements, you can visit stamptv.com and right underneath the video, you'll see all of the measurements for all of these different pieces, since there are a few pieces here. Now I'm going to tape this together. There we go. And that's going to go right here on my card. But before I do that, I want to hang my stockings on here. So I'm going to take that little piece of mouse pad that I cut and lay it down here and grab my craft pick. And I think I'm going to put them right here like this. So I will punch a little hole through like that. And then I'm going to grab one of those copper brads. Well, I'll need two, so I'll grab two of them. I'm going to slip that through the stocking. And right through that little hole that I made. There. So there's my first stocking. And then my second one is going to go right here. Now if you're feeling really creative and you want to do a little bit more work, you can cut a whole row of stockings and attach them. But I think two is plenty. There we go. And now that whole piece is just going to sit right on my card like that. And I'll do that by attaching some of this adhesive here. And I'll put just a little adhesive at the bottom of each one of these little stockings so I can tack them down. And you want to position that where you like it, where you think it looks the most balanced. I think right about there looks balanced. And there we go. We have a cute little card, clean and simple, and ready to mail. Use your spare time while you're watching TV or sitting at a sports event to stamp, color, and cut lots of these little stockings. Then, when it's time to mass produce your cards, the hardest part of the job will be done and your cards will be in the mail before you know it.